Hello everyone. My name is Subhajullah. I am a software engineer at AppScoot. Today I am going to talk about optimized data move bed with Kafka Connect cluster on Kubernetes using KubeDB. Okay, here is our table of contents. I am going to demonstrate about this content. First, what is actually a Kafka Connect cluster is. And second, Kafka Connect cluster architecture. And then we will discuss what kubedb offers and then i discuss uh, provision kafka connect cluster using kubedb after that there will be a live demo and then we will move into q and a session okay now kafka connect cluster it is used kafka connect cluster is a pluggable declarative and data integration framework for kafka it is used uh, stream changes out of an external system into Kafka and export to another system. It ensures decoupling, reusability, and it also guarantees the best parallelism, fault tolerance, delivery semantic, ordering, etc. as per connector underlying the implementations. And then the Kafka Connect cluster architecture. Kafka Connect cluster architecture, Kafka Connect is a separate uh, cluster uh, like Kafka. And so within Kafka Connect cluster, there are workers, connector plugin, connector, and task. A cluster can have multiple workers, and workers run only in the current cluster. Okay. When a user submits a certain connector uh, configuration to the connect worker, this config creates the type of connector plugin. In addition to that, some more plugin specific configs. A connector instance is instantiated on one of the uh, worker uh, in the connect cluster okay after that the worker will ask the connector to provide it with a set of task configuration and then certain task would be started on various worker in the connect cluster task in connect cluster uh, act as a producer and consumer of kafka topic and each worker contains one or more task uh, in the connect cluster Tasks are automatically rebalanced if there is any fa failure happens. Okay, after that, what KubeDB offers for our Kafka Connect cluster? KubeDB simplify provision on Kubernetes by managing necessary configuration. You can deploy Kafka Connect cluster on your Kubernetes cluster to any cloud platform by applying a simple share of Kafka Connect cluster. Then the Kafka Connect cluster TLS. If you need to make connectivity among Kafka Connect workers and external clients, uh, you have to just mention the TLS enabled or not in the uh, CR section. The QDB will manage all the certificates and configuration for TLS connection. Yeah. Uh, KubeDB also uh, continuously monitor our Kafka Connect cluster uh, using our uh, health checker. You can uh, manually turn it off in the uh, custom resource. Okay. Kafka Connect cluster also uh, basic authentication, have also basic authentication, which uh, uh, you can give using Kubernetes secret. And Kafka Connect cluster also support custom, custom configuration. And the uh, Kafka Connect cluster has some version uh, in our KubeDB support. Uh, the versions are 3.3.2, 3.4.1, 3.5.1, and 3.6.0. And these are the connector plugins uh, we have support in KubeDB right now. Okay, here, how uh, KubeDB provision Kafka Connect cluster? Uh, this is our um, uh, basic diagram of our Kafka Connect cluster. Okay, to run uh, Kafka Connect cluster in your Kubernetes, so you have to first apply our, our Kafka Connect cluster um, custom resource. In uh, Connect cluster custom resource, you have to specify all the configuration uh, like a TLS or um, uh, worker node, how many worker nodes you want. And after applying our uh, Connect cluster uh, custom resource, our op uh, provisional operator and optimizer operator will uh, watch all the time our uh, uh, connect clusters here and provisional operator will create services, stateful set, secrets, app binding, etc. And the office manager operator will create only certificates if TLS is enabled. And then deletion of our Kafka connect cluster. 
uh, there is a field in our Kafka uh, custom resource. The field is termination policy. If the field uh, value is delete, um, uh, uh, provisional operator will uh, delete everything except secret. And you can use this secret for further uh, kind of cluster provision. And if this uh, value is wiped out, uh, provisional operator will delete everything. And if this is don't terminate, provisional operator will uh, reject your uh, deletion of Kafka current cluster. Okay. Now, kubedb installation. Uh, to install our kubedb, uh, latest 2024.1.31, 20, um, you can use this help command to install kubedb. Uh, to uh, install kubedb, you need to license, and to get license, you can visit kubedb.com and uh, necessary procedure. Okay. That is our live demo. Uh, before going to our live demo, first we have to we, we need to discuss two of our uh, custom resource, and the one is uh, connect cluster, and the second one is connector. So we had is a connect cluster. Like other resource, it uh, both have uh, the API version and kind. The API version is same for uh, both connect cluster and connector. The Kafka.qbdu.com view on alpha one, and the kind uh, for uh, Kafka connect cluster is connect cluster, and the connector is connector. Here the name of our connect cluster, and here is the name of our connector. Okay, in the spec section, connect uh, connect cluster has. Uh, some field named connector plugin, Kafka ref, replicas, um, and uh, many more. And in the connector plugins, uh, the, we have we specify the connector plugin uh, to, uh, to uh, for our connect cluster. And uh, we have support for five connector plugins. Uh, you can see the uh, this GCS, MongoDB, MySQL, Postgres, and S3. And here is the Kafka reference. Uh, in the background of Kafka connect cluster, there, there is a Kafka. Uh, here is the uh, reference of our Kafka. Here is the actually reference of app binding of Kafka and the app binding name and app binding namespace. Here replicas means the number of worker nodes in our Kafka connect cluster. And if, if you want to enable uh, Kafka connect cluster TLS, you, you can um, just enable SSH regular true and the necessary um, our sub manager issuer. And the, here is the termination policy field. And the last one is version. Uh, I, here we are using 3.6.0. Uh, like Kafka Connect Cluster, we have also spec section. In this spec section, uh, there is a bit different from uh, Kafka Connect Cluster. Here we can see that uh, there is a field of um, config secret. This is a mandatory field. Uh, this is uh, a secret reference where we uh, all um, add the Mongo specific configuration for our connector. And this is our Connect Cluster reference. Actually, connector uh, works in Kafka Connect cluster uh, in the in the Kafka Connect cluster. So we need to specify our Kafka Connect cluster reference. Uh, so here is the Kafka Connector reference. It is also a air bending reference. And the last one is termination policy uh, wipeout. So in our demo section, we are going to show you uh, MongoDB source as a uh, source connector and. Uh, for sync connector, we are going to use uh, AWS uh, S3 bucket. Okay. First. Okay, let's see. Okay, for our uh, for our Kafka Connect cluster, uh, we need MongoDB and Kafka. So we have already deployed uh, one MongoDB instance and Kafka instance. And now we are going to uh, add Kafka Connect Cluster as CR apply. Okay, let's apply our Kafka Connect Cluster. Sorry, have to specify flag, file flag. Okay, Kafka Connect Cluster is created. Okay, connect cluster is strategy is provisioning. So we can see that the pod is now creating. Uh, for Kafka connect cluster, we have two services, one for headless service to communicate worker nodes and the one, one for uh, basically for user, you can uh, make this service to node pod or load balancer. 
so uh, here is uh, two secret for Kafka Connect cluster. One secret for actually Kafka Connect cluster configuration, and the second one is basic authentication for uh, Kafka Connect cluster. Okay, uh, the, it's still in provisioning mode. Let's see the basic authentication credential uh, for Kafka Connect cluster. Here you can see uh, the username and password. Uh, uh, we have uh, Kafka Connect Cluster REST API, we can say uh, our Kafka Connect Cluster is uh, ready or not by uh, our REST API. So let's put forward our Kafka Connect Cluster. Okay, first we need to ensure that Kafka Connect Cluster is ready. Hi, yes, uh, the cluster is ready. Okay, put forward to one of the service. Uh, the port is 8083. Okay, uh, port forward it. If we Okay, here is the username and password. Okay, I'm adding this password into there. Okay, okay, you can see that the cluster is working fine. Uh, there is a, a response uh, in in this in this response. You can see the version of Kafka Connect cluster and commit and the uh, Kafka reference cluster ID here is uh, you can see this. This is actually the cluster ID of this Kafka that cl Connect cluster is referring to. Okay, the Connect cluster is working fine. If you want to see the connector plugin that is loaded, uh, yes, we can see the all connector plugins in this section. We can see that MongoDB source, uh, no, MongoDB sync and ST sync mongodb source and postgres and mysql and i i i five connector plugin has, has been loaded okay now we can create one uh, one connector uh, to see that is everything going oil okay first we have to ensure that is there any connector is running or not you can see that there is no connector is running right now the uh, this is an empty okay now i'm creating one first before creating one uh, let's see our uh, mongodb source connector configuration that are using uh, right now okay here you can see our connector uh, class is mongodb source connector task max is 2 and you can see the mongodb uri uh, the the mongodb uri for this uh, mongodb and the uh, Database is webinar, collection is source. So, and uh, rest of the necessary configuration for our demo. Okay, let's apply our configuration secret first. Okay, here is our configuration. Okay, apply it. Now we can apply our source connector, MongoDB source connector CR. This is our CR. We have preference this secret. Uh, this is this is the secret. Okay, let's create one. Let's create a connector. The connector is created. You can see the state. Uh, okay, the connector state is still uh, now we're running. Uh, we can check it from REST API. Uh, this is our REST API. We can enter. We can see that the connector has been successfully registered to our connect cluster. Okay, now we can uh, produce some message from MongoDB. We can receive uh, in our Kafka uh, Kafka topic. So first we need to put forward our MongoDB service. Okay, put forward it. Let's go to Mongo shell. Oh, we are also exit to our Kafka, one of the Kafka brokers. Okay. Let's see our how many topics we have right now in our Kafka. This is the command. We can see that uh, one, two, three, four, five, six topic right now. If we send some message from this shell, we will uh, we can see that there will be a new topic in this section. Okay, uh, as we are using the database webinar, let's go to the webinar database and then. Uh, insert some messages in the source collection insert one
sorry. Okay, we have inserted successfully inserted a message in the uh, database webinar and the collection source. Okay, let's uh, list the topic again. Okay, we can see that there is a new topic named mongo.webinar.source. Uh, this is the topic uh, we are receiving the message from MongoDB. Okay, we can consume our uh, we can consume our uh, this mongo.oibinar source topic okay, from beginning. Okay, let's consume. Uh, you can see the same message uh, that we have been sent. Uh, the high QBB, you can see the high QBB. If we uh, send another message from here, QBB1, it's immediately reflect the Kafka topic and you can consume. Kafka, uh, you can consume from Kafka topic. Okay, we can show that MongoDB MongoDB source connector is working fine. Now we are going to uh, show you the ST so uh, sync connect connector. Okay, let's exit from here. Okay, here you can see the S three. S3 sync config. Here is the config. Here you can see the uh, connector class. The here we use the S3 sync connector. Task task is one. So here is uh, AWS access key ID is. Uh, you have to put your uh, and you have to put your access key here, and you have to specify also the bucket name. Hey, this is my bucket name actually, and we are going to see that there in the in our connect cluster bucket there is no uh, it is empty now uh, the bucket is empty okay let's apply this configuration and our uh, st sync connector okay let's apply sync sync config yes uh, we have created our uh, secret st sync let's create our ST sync connector. Okay, you can see this the config secret. We are referring the same secret. We are referring our connect cluster. Okay, let's apply. Okay, let's apply. We are connector has been created. We can see that ST sync connector is running. Okay, we can see from REST API. You can see that the new connector has been registered in our Kafka Connect cluster, the ST sync connector. And from now, we can come here and refresh our bucket. Any messages? No, no, still no message has been. Okay, let's wait some moment. It creates still it's empty. You can see our log. Connect cluster. Everything is fine, no error. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see there is an invalid access key. Okay, the problem is actually uh, access key. I am adding. Okay, I am changing the access key first. Okay, configuration is a problem. We have configured and we are first we are going to delete the uh, ST sync. Okay. And create again. Okay. You can see this is running now. Okay, I think 
this time is we can see our bucket is uh, bucket receives some messages bucket receives yeah we can see that mongo webinar source from uh, from topic mongo webinar source we have got our messages okay now this is it we have successfully created st sync connector uh, this is all from our demo section let's go our future plan our future plan the first future plan of our is connect cluster monitoring we will add support in our next release and then we have support we have to add support uh, we will add support for kafka and kafka connect cluster ui uh, and then we will go to the kafka autoscaler and or the uh, autoscaler actually uh, autoscale uh, cpu memory or storage and the we will add some more uh, version support in our next release okay so that's all if you have any question you can ask me hello yes uh, so i have a question uh, so can we use uh, multiple sync or uh, source connectors with a single uh, kafka connect cluster yes uh, we can obviously uh, create uh, more connector using the same connector plugin also and in the connect cluster you can uh, we have multiple worker nodes and uh, the work will rebalance in every worker I, I, it is possible okay thank you okay thank you any more questions okay i think no more questions ah uh, thank you everyone